Hello my friends, I'm Clover and this is the gas puzzle that was originally posted August 8th, 2024 by Philip Newman. This is part of our August month, uh, month long guessing game where every day in August you have the opportunity to guess what the following day's puzzle is going to be. Uh, they always follow some kind of pattern. The first year that we did this, the puzzles were all in alphabetical order. We worked our way through the whole alphabet using variants starting with different letters. The second time we did this last year, we set puzzles um, using the same order of variants that appeared at the very, very beginning of GAS, so like the first 30 variants that had ever appeared in GAS. And this year we're doing something different, and it's up to you to figure it out. It has not been revealed yet, but this is the fourth day of the month, and today's puzzle is an even Sudoku. Let's check it out. So gray squares contain even digits, and other than that, we just have normal Sudoku rules. So digits one through nine are going to appear once each in each row, each column, and each three by three region. So we have some columns and some rows that have four even digits, and that's the total number of even numbers in a Sudoku. So we can go ahead and just mark those as our four even digits, two, four, six, and eight. Actually, that accounts for all of the even digits in the puzzle. So now let's simplify a bit. So this can't be six or eight. These can't be four. This also can't be four or two. So that's a two, six, eight triple. This is the only position for four in the column. These two cells can't be two because they both see twos. So our two in this row is going to go here. And this eight places our six there and an eight there. These can't be two because of the two I just placed. And so now that is going to be a four. This can't be four or six. Uh, one of these will have to be a two. And I think that's about all I can do with these even digits right this moment. We'll come back and do more with them later. The next thing that stands out to me is I have two, four, six, and eight in the corners of this central region. And then I have a three here. So three has to go in one of these cells. And I also have a seven here, which sees these cells. So seven has to go in one of these cells. So this is actually a three, seven pair. And very similarly, this one and five tell me that these cells are a one five pair. And so the only remaining digit is this naked nine in the center. And that's interesting because we now have one, three, five, seven, nine down the central column and one, three, five, seven, nine across the central row. So these cells are all going to be even, which is useful because we are working with even digits. So these will be like two, four, six, and eight across this row. We already have a two, four, and eight in this column, which makes that a six, and that's going to resolve this and give us a two, six pair there. So we can eliminate six and eight here, and we can eliminate six here. There's a four in this region, which eliminates four from those cells, and now this is going to be a four. Okay, so now we have two, six, and eight here, and the only position for four in the row is going to be in this cell. And I think that that's all that we can do there. So let's keep moving. Let's see what else we can look at. So I notice now that I have two and three in row four and they see these cells. So my two and three in region four have to go into these two cells. This two six pair tells me that's a three and that is a two. These are going to be one and nine for my last two digits in the region. So that's now a five and that's a one. And these are going to be six and seven for the last two digits in the row, but because I have this six, eight pair, that will be my seven and that will be my six. My last two digits in the region will be five and nine, which go in those two spots. I need to place a five in this column. It can't go in these cells, so it goes here. And then the last two digits in the column will be three and nine. These cells are going to be one, seven, and nine. These cells, this is a little bit less restricted. I need one, five, seven, and nine here. And this is actually going to be a naked seven because they can't be one, five, or nine. Those are already in the column. This can't be a five or a one because those are in the region already. This cell can't be a five, so that's a one. And this one is a five. Now, if we look at the corresponding row down here, because this puzzle isn't completely symmetrical, but it does have some symmetrical um, kind of deductions in terms of what order should we look at things in. Uh, and sure enough, this row has become also more restricted than it looks. So I have three, five, nine here. So that's going to be a one now. That can't be a nine. That can't be a five. 
Now in this region, I need to place a two, six, seven, and eight. That's not going to be a seven, and those can't be six because of the six and seven up here. And that's all I can do with that at the moment, I believe. This has to be two, six, or eight, and it can't be a two, so I actually have a six, eight pair here. And that means that this is a three, four pair to finish this region. Okay, I need to place a nine in this region. It can't go in these cells because of the nine at the bottom of the column. So this will be a nine, eliminating nine from this cell. And so now the only position for nine in this column is right here. To finish this region, I need two, four, seven, and eight. That is not a two, and that's also not a two because of the two in the column. So this is gonna be a two. So these cells can't contain twos. Okay, here I need one, three, six, and seven. This can't be six or seven because those appear in the column. And this can't be a one because there's a one in the row. And I think that's all the simplifying I can do there right now. Okay, these have to be one, three, five, and nine. That can't be a nine. Nine, in fact, has to be in one of those cells. I have an 8 here that I didn't notice before that eliminates 8 there and places an 8, and that should actually clean up quite a bit of stuff via classic Sudoku. Yeah, the 4, 7 pair there now makes this a 3 and a 7. That's now going to be a 3, 9 pair. Now I need to place a 1. I can eliminate 8 from here. These will be 2, 3, and 8, so that's not a 3. So my 3 goes right there. And... The 8 I placed earlier gives me a 2 and a 6 there. This 4 resolves the 4-6 pair. The 2 resolves that. There's a 1 in the bottom row at this point, so that must be a 7 and a 5. My 1 in this region goes there. This will now be an 8, and I think that that takes us to just Sudoku. That will be a 6-7 pair, which resolves and a seven and a four. That's how you solve Philip Newman's even Sudoku. Hope you enjoyed that one. Um, if you want to give it a try yourself, you can solve it in the from the link in the description below this video. Enjoy and I'll see you next time.